Well, hello, folks. This is Jamil Tiff for Gunstock Reviews. We're here at Marty's Place at Enlo Custom Guns with Marty. How you doing, buddy? Good. Okay, Marty, I got a Ruger PC carbine, or at least a half of it. Mm -hmm. We already done some work on it. We put a uh, end on for the uh, handguard, yeah. an yeah. aluminum handguard, and we discussed that that handguard was for the purpose of, you know, self-defense, mm -hmm. tactical, you know, home defense, or recreational. It wasn't meant for competition because what happens is in competition you want something light, mm -hmm. you know, something that you can run with and do competition yeah, stuff yeah, with. Yeah. And this uh, stock, a lot of people were complaining, well, we need something lighter for competition, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. They were using skeletonized chassis made out of uh, polymer with an AR 15 grip and an AR 15 collapsible stock, all very, very light. Mm -hmm. Um, me personally, if I wanted this to look like an AR-15 uh, 9mm carbine, I would have bought well, one. one. Yeah, yeah um, I think this for my taste, okay, call me crazy, I like it the way it is. Now, here's where we're going to go and do something different today. Today we have a Crom or Condition Red Ordnance Manufacturing. They make an aluminum chassis for the PC carbine. Mm -hmm. And something that Chrome did that is pretty, really cool is that their Mac catch, this is the factory Ruger Mac catch, which is, of course, cast. Um, Ruger is the master of casting. Yes, they are. They make the best casting products in the world. Mm -hmm. And the problem is in states like California, where you have a limited amount of magazines. Magazines, yes, would be an issue. This is metal against a Glock for example, magazine, at the moment that you start using them a lot, this might start deforming your magazine and damaging your magazine. So what Chrome did is they made their own Mac catch that is um, basically made out of Delrin. And so it, again, is polymer against polymer. It's not gonna wear out your magazine. It's not gonna damage your magazine. They sell these chassis in different colors. Um, different Cerakote colors. This one is Cerakote black, mm -hmm. which is what I ordered. But they have all sorts of features, especially for competition, where you keep your finger here, you can actually activate your Mac catch from here. Very handy, yeah. Okay? And on this side, I actually prefer to do the Mac catch with my thumb while I'm removing the magazine, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, this thing is set up in the back for, to use uh, Mossberg attachments. So anything that goes in a Mossberg shotgun goes here. So you can, if you really wanted an AR-15 pistol grip mm -hmm. and stock, you can actually put one in here. Yeah, you can do a Mossberg attachment, yeah. Yeah, that anything sense. that is goes in a Mossberg shotgun mm -hmm. will go in here. Now, what am I gonna use is a Magpul uh, Mossberg shotgun stock. Mm -hmm. When you put this in here, it's gonna be heavy, okay? It will be as heavy as the original stock. But that being said, this again, this is not for competition. So don't go in the comments and say, that is too heavy for competition because this is not going to be used for competition. Okay? That being said, Marty, can you do the honors and install this for me? I already have the Glock um, block in here. Okay. Okay, so the only thing I have to do is, I guess, remove this block and Throw the chassis on. Throw the chassis on, and then what should we do first? I mean, when you're doing this at home, should we put the chassis on and then the stock, or put the stock on the chassis and then put it on? What is it a difference to make a difference? So from here, we're, we've disassembled our chassis, right? Or we've disassembled the, the receiver from the stock. It's basically an oversized 1022. Um, you do have to be mindful of a few things because some components can fall out if you're not careful. Uh, notably, this pin here wanted to wander out on us, and then uh, these two pins as well, kind of similar situation that you can get with the 1022. Mm -hmm. um, but we don't really want to maneuver this weight while we're doing this right now, so what we're doing here is we're going to take our chassis and we're going to assemble our Magpul stock. Now, we've also disassembled our Magpul stock because uh, this cheek piece is going, going to get in the way of uh, just us trying to get a wrench up inside here, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this, uh, this little uh, polymer insert here and you're gonna put that right in, the, right in the back of the chassis. Now that insert, 
goes in there because Magpul also makes uh, sling attachments that kind of go with that. Oh, for I think you. Yeah, we're gonna move that screw and uh, this one as well. So now that we've we've got this here, right? We're gonna come in and grab our wrench that Magpul provided, and we're just gonna get it in here. And you can kind of see, yeah, this thing is just a little in the way, so it might take a little bit of. Uh, fidgeting in here to get this in place. All right. It's in there, but now it's just, uh, what's running into right now is just the, it's tight because of the, uh, the thread locker that Magpul puts on their screws. So it's gonna, it's gonna cinch up pretty tight. Um, as far, or at least it's gonna be kind of tough to go and it's still actually, the stocks is, is still going to be loose, but, uh, we just want it to bottom out in there. We're pretty tight. One more. Thank you. Attach our uh, piece here in the back. And assemble our stock. So, how many spacers do we want? Uh, none for me. Um, none, none for I'm, you. I'm normal height. Okay. So, this is going to attach in the back. Insert our Glock block in here. Make sure it sits flush. Looks good. And carefully insert. Now, this thing's pretty tight, so it's actually going to want to creep in here. But on that forward edge, it's, it's pretty tight right there. And there we go, bottom out nicely. And then we'll just install our screws. You could use screws that you can buy from um, your no local hardware store or use the factory screws from uh, Ruger if you want. You can take them out of here. We went ahead and used normal screws that I picked up at the hardware store. There we go. Locked open. Install the chassis. Looks awesome. Wait, wait a minute. What? You know, you play with these things all the time. Let me let me check this thing out a little real quick. So, yes, yeah, so you got gigantic magazine for this thing, but I've never seen one of these, so it's pretty handy. I I don't. Know. I like the Magpul shape of the stock. I, I dig that you can uh, run that left-handed or right-handed, but this really is this really is only a, a right-hand only product, at least as far as how we've got it set up right now. I don't know if you can swap it over or not, but that's pretty cool. I like it. Yeah. yeah. Well, and let's put it together because you know mm -hmm. as well as I do that if we don't put it together, somebody's gonna complain in the comments. You never showed the whole thing put together, so you know here it is. We're gonna go ahead and put this thing together with our Midwest Industries handguard. Mm -hmm. And again, let's reiterate this thing. This is not meant for competition. It is a heavy mm -hmm. gun. Check it out. It yeah. is heavy, but it's heavy. it is sturdy. I mean, you have uh, aluminum um, chassis, aluminum handguard. You have the aluminum. Uh, bolt handle, extended bolt handle that we had MP3'd way back when, you know, which is a great product, by yeah, the way. Yeah. Uh, actually, the, the new uh, bolt handles from TACCOM look nothing like these. They have upgraded, and we have a TACCOM um, brake, oh, that break and that's the hands. old muscle brake. Mm -hmm. They went ahead and upgraded it. But I like the old muscle brake with the two ports. Works perfectly, okay? Yeah. Uh, let's check it out. Let's see how... 
it, yeah, it, looks... it, it feels really nice. Um, I, I really, I really, uh, I really like the setup of this actually. So um, as far as uh, uh, just the overall appearance of it, I mean, it uh, it's kind of an ugly duckling, but uh, it, it's very comfortable. Well, you know, yeah. kind of funny when remember when we installed this thing here, mm -hmm. I had this hang the original handguard uh, Tacom handguard with the uh, carbon fiber one. Mm -hmm. I had it sighted in a 25 yards, but that hanger was attached here and on the barrel. Okay. Yeah. When I took this out and floated it, it was like six inches low. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, that will it, happen, yeah. Yeah, so I had to go back and sight it in. Mm -hmm. Now it's sighted in at the correct distance, 25 yards, mm -hmm. which is, I think for, for this kind of stuff, yeah, can you do 100 yards with this? Yes. Yeah, I mean, you could even do a medium range of 50, but I mean, yeah, but you don't really need to shoot it that far. A nine millimeter, no. I know some people had in the comments some time ago, uh, would that be good for hunting at 100 yards? And I'm like, uh, <laughs> what are you hunting that you need a nine millimeter for? You know, if you're gonna hunt medium game in the US, you need something a little more powerful. You don't want to wound the animal. You want to put it down right. quickly. Right. I'm not a hunter, but Dave is back there behind the camera, and he will tell you exactly that because he's hunted. The better. Yeah. yeah, he's hunted. Well, he's a big guy, and he hunts with a seven millimeter Magnum. So yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's a rabbit and squirrel gun, and it would be primarily what I would think of hunting that and yeah. using that for hunting. And we left the front sight on, the front sight tower on, which you didn't need to, mm -hmm. but we left it on and we yeah, have... Yeah, co-witness is really yeah, nice. Yeah, because uh, yeah, the Delta, Delta point, point has yeah. the the little red uh, rear sight attachment to mm -hmm. it. So it's pretty cool. I, I like it. Let's go out and go to the range with it. Let's go check it out. Um, hey guys, thanks for watching. This is a great project. Uh, what are we going to hang on it next, man? <laughs> uh, we could do some lights and some grips and some rails. Yeah. We got options from here. A barbecue setup. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, corkscrew. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Marty. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. And guys, thanks for watching. And remember, be healthy, stay safe, and have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.